Hey guys, it's almost St. Patrick's Day and you know what that means, green beer. Well, instead of green beer, we're gonna have green nails and rainbows. My original plan for these was completely different, but of course I messed it up, so I ended up changing it on the fly and I ended up with this. I'll show you later um, a little nail fail that I had. And if I sound really weird, it's because I just woke up like four minutes ago. So here's everything I used for this mani. China Glaze Highlight of My Summer, Julep Jessica, a bunch of new polishes from Bundle Monster. These are from their festival collection and they're supposed to be released on March 10th, that's this Thursday. Now I do have an affiliate code that will get you 10% off of your order, it's twice I listed on the screen, but typically when Bundle Monster releases something and it's new, they put it on sale and the code doesn't work on sale items, but it will work on everything else. So the stamping polishes listed left to right are Rose Garden, teepee flipping, I don't know, I think these have to do with Coachella, I don't really know what that means. The yellow is Gobi U, spelled G-O-B-I-U, again, no idea. And the green is Empire Club, and the blue is Astronomical, those are more normal names, I like those. And here is the Crystal Clear Stamper from Clear Jelly Stamper. It is completely clear, allowing the light to flood in, which really helps with placement. Um, this is the first time that I'm using this one. I've used their purple one, which is their, their original design. And look at how you can see everything. Hello, everybody. It's me, Angel's Nails. Bye. And the Clear Jelly Stamper St. Patrick's Day plate, CJSH-01. Okay, finally after all that, let's get started. So I already have my base coat on and I'm using two coats of Julep Jessica. Now this is a really, really old Julep polish, like one of my first ones I got from them maybe back in like 2011. And it's their older formula, which I much prefer. As you can see, it's really opaque and creamy. Their new formula, which is like their oxygen formula, is just, I don't know, it's thick and takes forever to dry and isn't as good as these. And here on my pinky nail is China Glaze Highlight of My Summer, and it was the first time I used this color. I really like the color, but as you can see, it is patchy, and I'm trying to fix it here, and it's just not working. And here you can see how the first coat dried. Oh my god, look, it just looks like crap. This is the second coat, and no, 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 China Glaze third coat finally did the trick and now I'm over it because it is a pretty color. Here I'm putting on yellow stopper as a sticky coat to help my stamping. Um, stick to it as you can see my ring nail is white but in the final look it's not because this is where I messed up. I don't know what I was thinking and it looked like crap. The individual stamps I used were cute but together no that looks awful. Ew. 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 So moving on to the stamping, I'm using Rose Garden on the longest part of the rainbow portion of the stamping plate. And I don't really know if that was a scraper, it just came with it, it was too small, I end up switching later. And here's the magic of using a clear stamper, look you can see everything. I was so nervous of where to put this because I, I thought I was going to put it too low, but it worked out good. And here is the orange TP flipping, my favorite name. And where I switch scrapers, this one works much better. I like to do a firm roll with the clear jelly stamper. That seems to work best for me. And here I'm placing it on the nail. Now you'll end up seeing that there's a little bit of gap in between this one, which was more evident on camera in the pictures, but isn't as evident in person. And the stamping was trying to escape, so I said, you're mine, get back on there. And I'm skipping the scraping part and going straight to the stamping because that part is boring. Um, this yellow did not want to stay on. I was probably losing a little bit of my stickiness so I just kind of like rocked it back and forth and made sure that it was adhered. And again, the stamping is trying to escape. So I just tapped it back on and it made it stay. All right, you guys get the gist. Let's speed up the green and blue. Moving on to the cute little clouds. Here I'm using Bundle Monster Angelic White, which isn't my favorite uh, white stamping polish. And as you can see, it's a little clear when I stamp it on here. So I ended up uh, 
but busting out my Rika whiteout polish and going over it and using that for my white for the rest of the clouds. And here's the little baby cloud. And again, this is with Rika Whiteout, which works much better and looks more opaque. For my pinky nail, I used one coat of Golden Enchantment, which I didn't show in the preview of my polish issues because this was not planned. Um, I just wanted a little, a little something, a little gold sparkle. And then I'm adding some HK Girl Quick Dry Top Coat, and I'm gonna pop on a few little uh, gold jewels, which kind of look like the pot at the end of the rainbow full of some gold coins or not just use your imagination and then I added more HK girl quick dry top coat to my middle nail and ring nail um, when I messed up my ring nail I took it off and just did the same exact thing that I did on the middle nail except I switched around the um, order of the rainbow so it looked like it was going across both nails and I'm happy I did this because this came out much better than my nail file. And here's the end result. Um, I think I'm happier with this than what I had planned out in my head. I think it was a little stupid in my head, but it came out cute in the end. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe so you can see more of my upcoming nail videos or you can like, leave me a comment, ask me a question, tell me what you're doing for St. Patrick's Day. Does it involve green beard? Does it involve other Irish treats that I know nothing about? Tell me about them because I love food. And you can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at twy underscore star. That's twy star. Um, hope you guys have a great St. Patrick's Day. Thanks for watching. Bye.